Hey there, Tom Merritt again. Just got back from the Sword and Laser Post Office box. And so it's time to do the second Sword and Laser book haul. Oh, I got stickers on all sides of this thing. All right. I got four items this time. Thanks to everybody who said they like these. We're going to cross post them not only on the Ace Detect YouTube channel, but also over on the Sword and Laser channel as well. Uh, and we talked about on the Sword and Laser episode that we recorded this afternoon, probably hasn't come out yet for some of you, uh, about what to do with these books. We might, we might have a plan, but this first one is, oh, this is an advanced uncorrected proof. So these are a little different. Uh, these are not the final version. Uh, there may be other things and other tweaks that are going to be made. Uh, they are definitely the kinds of books that you, you don't want to uh, let out of your sight. You don't want to, these, these books are definitely not out yet. Uh, they're usually a little farther in advance. I'll try to come up with a release date. So this is not coming out till September 22nd, 2015. Uh, you're not going to get to see the real cover art on that one, are you? Hmm. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a, a tour uh, uh, piece. <laughs> a tour piece. It's a tour book. Uh, a new partnership with Pinnacle Entertainment Group and Visionary Comics to publish a series of thrilling novels based on Deadlands, the hugely successful role-playing game set in the Weird West. The series begins with the Deadlands Ghost Walkers by New York Times bestselling author Jonathan Mayberry. Out oh, just in time for Halloween. Uh, so there you go. They plan cross-promotions with the gaming company, it says. Uh... Welcome to Deadlands, where steely-eyed gunfighters rub shoulders with mad scientists and dark, unnatural forces, where the Great Quake of 1868 has shattered California into a labyrinth of sea-flooded caverns. We could use that water. And a mysterious substance called Ghost Rock fuels exotic steampunk inventions, as well as plenty of bloodshed and flying bullets. In Ghost Walkers, a gun for hire literally haunted by his bloody past comes to the struggling town of Paradise Falls, where he becomes embroiled in a deadly conflict between the besieged community and a diabolically brilliant alchemist who is building a terrible new weapon of mass destruction and an army of the living dead. Most popular RPG in history, by the way, it says. So there you go. All right, next one's bigger. Usually that means hardback. But we'll see. There we go. That's the back of it. It is also from Tor. Oh, this is great. This is Wesley Chu's Time Salvager. Uh, fantastic. He got some great blurbs, this guy. Uh, Ann Leckie, Robert Jackson Bennett, Jason M. Huff, Kevin Hearn, Kate Elliott, Max Gladstone, and Jay Wells. All, uh, all on the, the back here. This cover is uh, by Richard Anderson. Uh, Wesley Chu is the best-selling author of The Lives of Tao. And we have interviewed him before on Sword and Laser. So here's Time Salvager. Convicted criminal James Griffin Mars is no one's hero. In his century, Earth is a toxic, abandoned world, and humans have fled into the outer solar system to survive, eking out a fragile, doomed existence among the other planets and their moons. Those responsible for delaying humanity's demise believe time travel holds the key, and they have identified James, troubled though he is, as one of a select and expendable few ideally suited for the most dangerous job in history. Time Salvager. I love this idea. I can't wait to read this. Uh, when is Time Salvager coming out? You might very well ask. Today, July 7th, in bookstores now. Go get it. Time Salvager. All right, two more to go. Uh, and this one is going to be another hardback. It's, I can't read that. The War Against the Assholes. All right, by Sam Munson. Apologies for anyone who doesn't like that kind of language. Uh, and no credit on the jacket for the cover art. It's a pretty cool design, though. Uh, maybe, the, uh, maybe the press release has that. This one is coming out... Oh, it's already out. June 16th, 2015. Uh, I don't see anything. I, don't know, I might be missing it, but I don't see anything about the cover. That's the part about doing this for real. You know, I don't get to look at this beforehand. Uh, let's see. Mike Wood's moral code is enforced solely by his muscles. 
He punches his way through adversity, unfocused and explosive, until knuckles bruised and in a rage, he meets Hob. Hob is the best known as the guy who obsessively read an enigmatic book on card tricks titled The Calendar of Slights, a book which introduces Mike to the world of magic, worked by force of will, and a war against the kind of wizardry schools that Hob and his fellow practitioners call the assholes. All right, well, there we go. Sam Munson has created a sorcerous crime wave in New York City. So if you're in New York City and you're experiencing crime, that could be why. You might want to look into that. All right, last one. Here we go. Oh, we got two of these? Wonder, oh, one was for me. Is the other one for Veronica? No, nope. both for me. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll give one away. Oh no, the other one is for Veronica. Well, I'll have to ask Veronica then first. So there you go. I thought we had four. Only got three. That happens sometimes because we got two hosts. Uh, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I took a couple of suggestions as far as like giving the release dates and things like that. And uh, we'll keep doing this. Uh, thanks everybody for enjoying us. Let us know what you think. Any questions or concerns in the comments. And I'll see you next week after my weekly trip to the post office here in rural Los Angeles.